Welcome to your Dating Women Radio Show excerpt and preview. Remember, you can find us 24-7 at DatingWomenRadioShow.com, and we encourage you to call the show with the numbers you see on the screen. On this week's show, airing Thursday, November 7th at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, we talk about whether or not man is run by his emotions in romantic relationships. And now, your excerpt. Navigating the early stages of dating was the focus of this call. Let's listen in. Hi, Doc. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I just want to let you know I'm 49 years old. Yeah. I've been out, I've been out of the dating scene for probably about a year and a half. Uh, mm-hmm. After a breakup, I decided to stay out of the dating scene for a while and collect myself and focus on me and what I had to do. And uh, so, so you got I, my book and memorized it? I, I have your book, but I'm gonna. I, I'm embarrassed to say I haven't read it in a couple of years. No. And I haven't memorized, you know, uh, a lot of it. I, I, I have read several of your articles, and I still do. But um, you won't, you won't get it. That, you won't get it. Yeah, you got, I, you got you got too much brainwashing between your ears. Listen, yeah, guy, I'm not I, I, I'm not trying to give you labor because it puts you in pain. I'm telling you what works. I've been doing I this a hundred years. I know what works. And, and, I, and I know I know that you're right because the situation I'm about to outline for you is gonna is. is uh, I know that I made mistakes, and I know it after I after I make them, then I know that I made them. But I just want to outline something real quick. I was. Uh, but let me say girl- one thing. Let me say one thing, Ed. Before you didn't know you were making mistakes. Right. So you're halfway there. Right. See, no, see, <laughs> see, see, you, 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 right. Right. You got to know what's wrong. If you don't know what's wrong, you can't fix it, right? That's absolutely. So, you, so yeah. you're. So the point is this: Look at how you've grown so far just by reading the book once or twice. And, and all this stuff, and, and uh, you know, it's a lot of the stuff that it goes against conventional thinking. And, and oh, like, I'm shocked! Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, you know, for example, I, this girl, I, I was, uh, I work with her. I work in a hospital. We have twenty thousand employees and three hospital systems, and uh, I've chatted with her a couple times at work. And I, I'm careful that I don't really get too involved with girls at work because I do. But, you know, it's kind of apprehensive at first, and uh, only because it's work. Right. And I was sitting in a lunchroom or in the cafeteria of the hospital, I was sitting by myself, and I was reading the paper, and she came over to sit with me. She sat down. She said, she said can I sit? And I said, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's my dog. It's trick-or-treaters, Doc. That's all right. <laughs> and... Uh, I said, yeah, go ahead, sit down. And we, we chatted for a, a minute. She whipped out a piece of paper. She wrote out her phone number. She gave it to me. She goes, I want you to call me. Let's go out sometime. Do you said, sure. Hold it. Ed, do you like her? Yes. You do want to I, take her out? Uh, anyway, yeah, yes, I, I, I did go out. Okay. And uh, this was about, uh, she gave me her number about four weeks ago. Yeah. And we have such busy schedules. And working in a hospital, we work 12 and a half hour shifts. And so it's very difficult to kind of make time after work, you know, when you, when you got to work so late and, uh, and you have your busy lives. I, I have two jobs. I do copywriting and I do my, my work at the hospital. She's a photographer outside the hospital and she also works in the hospital. So yeah, yeah, that, busy- that, all, that all goes in the second position when love is involved. Right. All that's a bunch of garbage. Because you, yeah. you, you can, she, you can, she could say, no, but I can make it Thursday at one and you say, I'm busy. And then you, and then uh, she says, "Well, how about uh, Friday or Saturday?" Th- th- this type of deal. See, I don't want you seeing her on Friday and Saturday. If you can get away from those days, as far as talking to her and making dates. But I only, I only, uh, I only go against this Friday Saturday thing. Like the previous caller, with a woman has three kids. Well, they got three kids, and then they got a job, and you got two job. But just do your best to avoid those days because she'll know it. Yeah, so, so, so how many days you've had? One or two? Two. And uh, they were both last weekend. And uh, they were on Friday and Saturday, obviously. And, uh, and we, we went out and had a great time. And she was uh, pretty much all over me. And uh, as far as, you know, touching, you know, yeah. the, we went out to uh, and got a couple of drinks at a martini bar. And then we went over to the comedy club, saw a great comedian. And we were laughing like crazy. She pulls her chair up next to me. She's holding my hand through the whole show. Afterwards, got a bite to eat. And then I took her home. You notice how you're not doing any work? No, it was really See, easy. Yeah, when they when they have high interest level, you don't do any work. Right. It was, that's it what was you got to. That's what you got to get here, Ed. This is important. This is a big deal. Yeah, it, yeah, it was real. I'm sorry, Doc, but it, it was real simple. And 
And so she wanted to go out again on Saturday, and she wanted, and you know, and we, we mentioned about going to a haunted house, and I said, yeah, let's go. And I'm, I love haunted houses; she loves them. So, but she came over here. It was so cold and raining that we decided to nix the haunted house. Went out, and got a bite to eat. On the way back uh, from getting a bite to eat, we stopped and got a bottle of wine. Came back to my house, watched Halloween, and got comfortable. Yeah, and and uh, everything was great. And um, so you got three dates in, and this girl likes you. Yeah, and yeah, and she was, uh, and then you know, she went home. And then uh, Sunday, uh, you know, she texted me, and uh, we text back, uh, back and forth, you know, just a couple of times. Don't do it a lot. I don't initiate text messages. I don't call her. Yeah, try to keep it to zero. Zero is better than one. Yeah, I have. Believe me, from what I've read from your materials, I have you hanging over my shoulder saying, "Don't do this." I'm sitting you know, right. I'm sitting right there like a crow on your shoulder. Right? <laughs> And then you, then you got the devil over here on the other shoulder saying, don't listen to Doc, he's a whack. <laughs> she really yeah, likes you. You don't have to go by those stupid rules. You have your ego on your side. Right, and, you know, this, and then Monday came, this past Monday came, and uh, she gets to work and she text messages me, I'm already at work, and hi, baby, how are you, blah, blah, blah. Baby, you know. she calls you baby? Yeah, she calls me baby. A little and fast, said, we're going a little too fast here. Yeah, and I said, oh, I, yeah, I want her. No, I like her having high interest level, but I don't yeah, like. Her, I don't like her getting mushy too soon, soon. Too soon. And she's also mentioned I have commitment issues, and uh, which a big red flag went up with me about that. Cause I don't understand that. About but, what? Uh, uh, I don't understand when when a girl says she has commitment issues. I don't know if she's a player or whatever. You know, I don't know what what the deal is. With well, that. Uh, that that means she has a hard time settling down the one boyfriend. And, and, she's and telling you, you, she's telling you up front she's trouble. Oh and, and, and so this is what you say. She says, well, 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 trouble, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let me finish. When she <laughs> says I have commitment issues, what you say, I'll, I say, I'll make you a deal. I won't commit to you as long as you don't commit to me. Sure. You, That's a great make answer. It, make a joke out of it. You gotta, you gotta go into, uh, comedy time. Yeah, and she, com and she comments to me all the time that I make her laugh so hard. Good. Okay. What? And, okay. Give me the issues. Okay. The issue was that on, uh, you know, I, I left work. Uh, you know, I left work on. Uh, I was having telephone. You know, I got a cell phone. That's all I have. I have cell phone issues. I haven't had one for two weeks. Finally got one in the mail. And we, you know, and uh, usually she, you know, she'll text message me good night or whatever. Uh, so I, I texted her at uh, when she got off work, and I said, you know, good night. And, uh, it wasn't funny. No, it wasn't funny. If it's not yeah, funny, it don't. If it's not funny, don't communicate. Yeah, and I so gotta, I, I gotta make a clown out of you. You already are in person, but let's do it with texting, <laughs> which I don't, which I don't want you to do, by the way. Okay. Okay, but go on to your story. And uh, so I decided to call her. She didn't answer the phone, and she's on her way home from work. And so she didn't respond and and I did another dumb thing and I, I turned around and I texted her and said I said Nah, okay. you you're, you're coming on too heavy, too heavy. Rush, yeah, rush, I, rush, 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 rush. Right. Rush. You're telling yeah. her you're telling her that you're available and you're telling her that you don't see other women. Right. And you only had a couple dates? Yeah. Too, a couple too much, too soon.